why TBC? What's the deal? So I'm gonna answer a question. Uh, Nez nine nine eight N E Z nine nine eight. My man Nez nine nine eight asked me. Uh, he left a question on my. Let me see the video. It's my Danny uh, Garcia Ducks <laughs> number one rated American. The question he asked me is. Uh, he says, uh, off topic, I follow Shannon Briggs on Instagram and he continuously posts videos of himself training and screaming. <laughs> Let's go champ. That shit's funny to me, man. Uh, his last fight in May, he fought a bum knocking him out in the first round. At the age of 43, is he a threat in the game or should he sit his, his ass down and enjoy retirement? Good question, man. Um, first of all, Nez998, let me start off by saying that 43 really doesn't mean anything in today's uh, landscape of the heavyweight division. Now, let me just give you some facts really quick before I go into what I think about Shannon Briggs. Now, you look at the sanctioning bodies. He's not ranked by the WBC. He is not ranked by the IBF or the WBO. But the WBA has him rated number five. The WBA champion or super champion is Vladimir Klitschko. The secondary champion or uh, regular champion is Ruslan Chigayev. Luis Ortiz is ranked number one. He is getting ready to fight Brian Jennings. Rated number two is Tyson Fury, who's getting his Klitschko shot. Lucas Brown is number three. Fred Zakendo is number four. And Briggs is number five. Now, no matter what I think, he's damn near, he's really close to getting the title shot. Whether it's uh, the Klitschko Fury winner. Um, or if it's trying to get a shot with Ruslan Chigayev. I don't know who's next for Chigayev in that secondary title, but um, he's highly ranked by the WBA. Now, that's <laughs> that's a fact, so that has nothing to do with my opinion. Um, now, as far as do I think he can win a title, or does he have a chance? I mean, let's look at his, okay, so he lost to... He lost to Vitaly in 2010. I'm not going to talk about what, what he did 12, 13 years ago. Just he lost to Vitaly in 2010. He took the four years off. He's came back to, since 2014. He's fought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's fought eight fights. Uh, Michael Marone, I've heard of. He's a journeyman, but it's not a big win. Uh, I'm trying to see some other names I recognize. Uh, Rafael Zumbanu Love. And he fought Matthew Greer. Love, I know, fought Andy Ruiz Jr. He fought Anthony Joshua and Charles Martin and Eric Molina. And he lost all those guys. So Wilder, or not Wilder, but Briggs did exactly what he was supposed to do against a guy like that. And he also fought Matthew Greer. And I believe Matthew Greer beat a very old and ancient James Tony, if I'm not mistaken. I thought he beat him in that, uh, what's that little tournament they have in the UK? Let me look it up real quick. So I'm going to give you facts, man. I'm going to give you facts. Matthew Greer, let me see. I thought Matthew Greer beat James. Yeah, he did beat James Tony in 2009. Yep. In Temecula, California. So, yeah, Matthew Greer's been in there with guys. James, old James Tony, Deontay Wilder, Andy Ruiz Jr., Jordan Schimmel, uh, Huey Fury, Briggs. Um, so... And Matthew Greer also lost to Aaron Green. Green is a guy I was supposed to spar in 2010. Aaron Green, they call him Gorilla Green. He's a, a Minnesota heavyweight who's actually undefeated. All right, so to Shannon Briggs and answer your question, man. Um, I think, you know, right now, Box Rec, they have him rated number 46 overall. So what I will say about Shannon Briggs, man, is, is, is he has a good of a chance of winning the title as a Trevor Bryan, Charles Martin, Dillian White. Eric Molina, uh, pretty much all the guys that are rated around him, uh, Eddie Chambers, Chris Ariola. I think he has a chance like those guys. Uh, they have him rated number 46. They got Kelly Meehan, number 45. Meehan just got blowed out against uh, Joseph Parker. And 47, they have Huey Fury. Nagy, only, Nagy Aguilera is, is uh, 48. Eddie Chambers is 49. Chris Ariola is, is rated 50. Matisse Vedando is rated 51. He just got flattened by Luis Ortiz. So these guys that are rated around Briggs, he's right in there. Uh, he's rated with those guys. I mean, Charles Martin is the guy who I've been lobbying to get a title shot. Dillian White's getting ready to fight Anthony Joshua. So I think Briggs is right in there with those guys. He can compete with those guys. But I don't think him fighting a list of 
a laundry list of bums is going to just get him a title shot. He's going to have to fight somebody at least uh, that's rated around him, a Molina, a Meehan, somebody, man. Give us somebody, Shannon Briggs. You know, you got to give us not Matthew Greer. We have to see you in there with uh, uh, Thomas Adamack, a Lucas Brown, something, something. Amir, man, I know a Mansoor has a fight coming up against, uh, who is Mansoor getting ready to fight? Archer Spilka. He has to give us something like that. Now, these guys have to be willing to get in there with him. I would love to see a Andrew Ruiz in there with him. Um, so give us somebody that we do know. You know, um, I wouldn't mind seeing him giving one of these young kids a shot at Jarrell Miller, uh, somebody like that. But he has to give us somebody we at least know, somebody that's at least within the top 2015. Then we can start talking about a title shot. But like I said, the WBA has them rated high. So just based on that merit alone, he might get a title shot. Can he win? Uh, it depends who he's fighting. Can he beat Vladimir? No. Does he have a chance to land a big right hand? Yeah. But the way he, it's not like he's a, a fighter who goes in there and throws a lot of punches that's very active. What he's trying to do now, he's trying to pull the old, what George Foreman did later in his career. Peck you with a jab, peck you with a jab, and try to find right hands. He looked pretty winded in those. Uh, I've seen a fight from like a year ago. He fought a guy that was well overmatched, and he didn't look all that great. Although he won by knockout, it still didn't look that great. It was a knockout, give him credit for it. But he looked just slow, sluggish, looked like a big bodybuilder in there, in my opinion. But um, Shannon Briggs can definitely bring some entertainment value to setting up a fight with the Let's Go champ. I don't know if he's copyrighted that or has T-shirts, but he should get behind that because that is so funny. <laughs> that is very funny to me. But Shannon Briggs, I think uh, Shannon Briggs can. I think Shannon Briggs can uh, definitely land a right hand. He can definitely put somebody to sleep. But is he active enough? And hey, who's to say if he starts getting hit with right hands? Because last time I seen him getting hit by Klitschko, he uh, was getting swallowed up and getting eyes shut and jaws busted up so shannon briggs hasn't been in a, a, a rough and tumble fight yet and when he needs to get in there he starts to get hit we'll see what briggs really has left but does he have a chance yeah a puncher's chance but i wouldn't favor him out of the pool of guys that are fighting right now i know he's a champion he had a belt i believe he held on to the belt for he beat lykovich I want to say he lost to Sultan and Bragamov in his very next fight. So he wasn't a long-standing champion even when he did have the title. Just my opinion. So I hope I answered your question, bro. YTBC, I'm out.